Yep, good stroke there. Just down the hill for his three. Lightning fast from that right side. It'll be hard to see a lot of balls right of this whole location today. To find this sixth and two today. Snedeker for Eagle. So many modern golf courses lack these short par threes because they're in this race to get to 7,500 yards, and you can't do the math if you have 98 yards in there. But uh oh, how could it be better than that? So much fun. This earlier at the third, Ricky Fowler. Leaned off the right, makes it hard to get it close to there. Not for Fowler. Well, when you're one back. One over par and 10 back. Easy to take chances. You've got to take chances to start off. And stealing one here at three. And this a moment ago at the eighth. Rafa Cabrera Bayo's third shot. No way. Now at the eighth, Brant Snedeker. That's tough here. You're kidding me. <laughs> what a six, Thor Bjornsson for birdie. This just a moment ago. Sure, why not? Let's just make everything. <laughs> this is crazy. Better than his putts. Go over to seven. Chip McDaniel down the hill for birdie. This is his third U.S. Open Championship. First time he's made the weekend. Yeah, and a friendlier pin than yesterday. Back on this green makes the players a little happier. You can use the walkway up there. At the eighth, the 17 year old second, 185. Hideki Matsuyama seeing just two birdies here at one today, and that is three. Another whole location pretty much in the center of the green. And a little. Wow. We'll go to 17. John saw in the marker for par. Down the slope, quite slick. I love his touch. He's got feel personified. <laughs> to the seventh, Ricky Fowler for a birdie. We got an eagle putt on the last, and this one from 27 feet. Oh, looks good. Could Fowler be the one to make the first move? 